Praise God. Hallelujah. Sunday morning worship service. Hello, beloved church family. My name is Joey Karangan, and I am recovered through the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. What a glorious day it is. Hallelujah. And I am just so thankful. I am so thankful that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. That God loves us. That he is head over heels in love with us. Why? Why? Because Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. And I'm just so thankful for Holy Spirit's presence. He lives on the inside of you and me for all of eternity. Amen. And I am just so thankful. Praise God. In a moment, we're going to open up in prayer. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your heart of worship. In blessing God. Amen. Through this, through this trial. Amen. I mean, it's, it's amazing to me that, you know, when the enemy tries to steal, kill, and destroy... You know, the enemy is just garbage. He's stupid. He doesn't, he doesn't realize. All he's thinking about is himself and how to destroy people's lives. And by the grace and mercy of God, we have Lord Jesus Christ. And we have this eternal promise from God our Father. That he is always with us. That he'll never leave us or forsake us. And that he will go before us in Jesus' name. Amen. As long as we trust in him. Amen. Can you say that with me? Trust in him. Praise God. So I'm just so thankful once again for your heart of worship. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Praise God. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you for getting the word out for the good of Lord Jesus Christ, for a mighty good work through Holy Spirit, that we, that we get the word out. Praise God that Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Amen. And it's, it's time to get ready. Amen. It's time to prepare ourselves. Praise God. It's time to get ready. Amen. Say it with me. Be ready. Praise God. So I am just so thankful, humbled, honored, blessed beyond measure. I am not worthy to be standing here before you. I'm not. I said yes to Lord Jesus Christ and obedience to the Holy Spirit. And God, just like you, just like me, God loves us all the same. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit loves us all the same. Amen. He's head over heels in love with us. Praise God. And here at Open Arms Community Church, we love to tease each other and say, I'm God's favorite. Amen. See, I can already hear a lot of you saying, no, I am. I am. And praise God, isn't that beautiful that no one can take that away from you? Amen. No one can touch that from you. That is your relationship with Father God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I miss you so much, beloved church family. I am thankful that you allow me to come into your homes. Praise God. Even though I'm not physically there, you know we are one spirit, one body, and Lord Jesus Christ, blessing God the Father. Amen. Agape. Hallelujah. Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And say this with me. In me. Praise God. In me. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Praise God. <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Fathers, we plead your holy and precious blood, Lord Jesus Christ. For all of eternity, we worship you, Father God. We love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Father, you are good, kind, perfect. You are God Almighty, our Heavenly Father, and you love us. And Father God, you proved your love once and for all through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that Agape himself walked this earth, that you would leave heaven to save us. And thank you so much, Lord Jesus Christ, that I am recovered through your holy and precious blood. Lord Jesus Christ, as we give you all the glory, honor, and praise in everything, Father, and as we plead your holy and precious blood, rebuking what the enemy is trying to do, Father God, we thank you, Father, that as we plead your holy and precious blood, Lord Jesus Christ, that you rebuke this every foul and garbage thing, this distraction of the enemy, Father. And though, Father God, it may seem in the natural that the enemy has prevented us from fellowshipping, from coming together, on this Sunday morning physically, Heavenly Father, your word cannot be stopped in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! That Lord Jesus Christ, we are one in you for all of eternity. We are one Holy Spirit in you, Father God. And through your spirit and by your mighty word, Father God, we bless you being thankful, Father. And we don't limit you, Father God. We don't limit you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, once again for your anointing. And Holy Spirit, we know we bless you. When we are thankful to the Father for Lord Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit, you are wisdom. You are our only teacher. We bless you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
so that Holy Spirit, we can just stop and listen right now, Father. Speak to us, Lord. Speak to us, Lord Jesus Christ. Speak to us, Holy Spirit, through your power. Change us, Father God, that we will never be the same. And we thank you, Father God, for all of eternity. And all God's beloved said, hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, give your family a high five. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, you're never by yourself. Give Holy Spirit a high five. Praise God. And don't forget the angels. Amen. Don't forget the angels. Hallelujah. The angels are all around us fighting. Glory to God. Fighting and protecting us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, you may have seen the graphic, amen, on Facebook. Now, please, um, beloved Facebook family, please know this. Uh, I personally don't have Facebook or social media. And uh, we have a lot of church family here at Open Arms Community Church that are, that are the same way. Praise God that Holy Spirit said you, you're not to get into that. Amen. And for those of our brothers and sisters who do, praise God, we rely on you because God has anointed you. To get the word out, get the message out. Amen. We thank you so much for that. Praise God. And I say all that because the reason why we put all of our worship services on YouTube is so that everybody, say it with me, everybody, amen, <laughs> everybody can tune in and listen. Praise God. Those that don't have social media, right, and, and, and those that just want to get into the worship service. Praise God. So I just want to say thank you once again. Remember, even though we're not live on Facebook, hallelujah, God is alive. Amen. Hallelujah. God is alive for all of eternity. Praise God. Do me a favor. Praise God. We do this to bless Holy Spirit. It's not to do it for a pastor. It's not to do it for show. It's for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So that our Father can flow through the temple. Amen. And let's allow his presence to flow through us like never before. Praise God. Amen. Let's do this. On the count of three, let's take a deep breath. In our nose, hallelujah, and I believe and declare that as you exhale, hallelujah, remember the tetragrammaton. I just want to say this, Yahweh, you cannot say Yahweh without, without breathing, hallelujah. He is breath. Yahweh. Come on, try that. Yahweh. Breathe in, Yah, Yahweh. Hallelujah, it's, it's beautiful that Yahweh, our God Almighty, He is breath, Amen. And so Holy Spirit asks this right now as a beloved church, unified in Lord Jesus Christ through the power of Holy Spirit. Let's take this breath that when we breathe through our nostrils, we're breathing in all of Holy Spirit. And in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, his anointing, his presence, his name, his blessing, his salvation will expel every foul thing in Jesus name. He will rebuke it. Hallelujah. God will. He is faithful. He will rebuke it out of your body in Jesus' name. On the count of three. One, two, three. <sighs> Hallelujah. Give him praise. Amen. Thank you, Father God. It's beyond, it's beyond what we can think, understand, we trust. Amen. And I'm so thankful for this mind of repentance. Hallelujah. Our message, as you may have seen on Facebook, is lettuce message. <laughs> praise God. It's the lettuce message. Amen. And uh, we're going to get into this. Praise God. We got a lot to go through. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so excited. I pray that you are in Jesus' name. Now, remember, whenever we get into worship service, please, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, don't look at me. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name that you just see right through me and you allow the Holy Spirit, for he is the only one. Listen, beloved church family, I'm just a mouthpiece, amen? I worship Lord Jesus Christ more than umpteen times a day, amen? Uh, we, we try as far as just 24-7, but we just, we just try to bless Lord Jesus Christ the only way we know how, and that's to have a, a relationship, intimacy with the Father, amen? So once again, I just ask you to just bless Holy Spirit. Let's get out of this, right? And let's just allow God to be God in Jesus' name, amen? So in this latest message, we got a bunch of scriptures to go through, praise God. And once again, as I stated earlier, we're going to go through, and we're going to go through kind of fast, hallelujah. We never rush Holy Spirit, praise God. We rebuke ever the thought of quenching Holy Spirit, rebuke that, amen. We bless Holy Spirit. Where is Holy Spirit? He's on the inside, hallelujah. I see angels all around us, praise God. His angels are fighting for you, amen. Ask God, amen. Ask God, plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and ask God, Father, 
send your angels to fight, to protect me, hallelujah, to protect my house, for this is your house covered, amen, covered by your blood in Jesus' name, amen. So in this latest message, <laughs> praise God, rejoice, I love it. In this latest message, we're going to open up in Genesis chapter 1, praise God, to lay the foundation as far as in this latest message. <laughs> and then we're going to go into the gospel of John after Agape left heaven, Lord Jesus Christ, after Father God said, son, you have to go save him, amen? And then we're going to break up as far as how Lord Jesus Christ wants us to minister, wants to us to learn through Holy Spirit as far as in John 10.10, 10, and that's what you see in blue. And praise God, don't be alarmed. All these graphics in the worship service, praise God, is going to come up on your screen so you could follow along. Amen. Because remember, Holy Spirit is the only teacher. And I pray in Jesus' name that you just allow His love, agape, to just flow through your heart. Amen. To renew your mind that God is head over heels in love with you. Amen. That God wants his best for you. That's why he gave us Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so I pray in Jesus' name that we just let things go. Listen, beloved church family, if it's somebody that hurts you, if you're going through a terrible season right now, maybe you're believing for someone that, you know, you're just so frustrated because they're not getting it right or, you know, they're not doing this. Not. Listen, let's forget about all that. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you right now, that's a snare. That's a trap of the enemy. And the enemy wants you to keep on messing with that. God is just saying right now, let that go. Amen? Let that go, right? And that's what we choose to do in Jesus' name as we move forward. Praise God. And then we're going to summarize everything in John 14, 6. Praise God. And then, of course, we're going to close in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 23. Now, I will let everyone know that until we're raptured out here, until that trumpet sounds... We will always be going back to this, this, this letter, this, this scripture for the church of Thessalonica. I say this because of the fact that this is God's order before the trumpet sounds and before we're raptured out of here. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, praise God. Say, say with me, be ready. Hallelujah, be ready. Praise God. So let's move forward in the lettuce message. Amen. Praise God. Let's move forward. Praise God. In Genesis 1, verse 26 says this. Then God said, let us. <laughs> God has a sense of humor. Oh, I had so much fun. We had something different planned, of course, for this morning service. And hallelujah, Holy Spirit came upon me last night and said, son, what we were discussing, that is for a Sunday message, but it's not for tomorrow's message. And I said, oh, hallelujah. Well, what do you want, Lord? And then he showed me lettuce. And praise God, I just started laughing and everything else. And this is, remember, we're just setting the foundation. Our foundation is in Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and glory to God. When we, when we fight this battle in this vapor of a life, amen, we have to be aware, we have to be aware of the warfare. Can I get an amen? We have to be aware of how this enemy wants to attack us, right? And remember when we discussed this months and months and months ago, and praise God for, for this reminder, the enemy's attacks come as a distraction. Can I get an amen? A distraction. Say that with me, distraction. And praise God, I prayed last night. You, uh, you, you were in worship service on our Saturday night's message, rebuking distractions, amen? And if not, please uh, check that out, praise God, and just allow Holy Spirit to bless you as far as rebuking distractions. And I'm sure Holy Spirit will give us time in our worship service to visit that again. So God said, let us. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Pray for me. Oh, having so much fun. So God said, let us, Amen. So when we talk about let us, let us, right? Let us, amen, let us. We talk about the Father, Spirit, and Son. Can I get an amen? Father, Holy Spirit, Son, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And then God said, let us make mankind in our image. Hallelujah. In our image. 
Now, when we think about the image of God, this is what we immediately think of in God's image. We think of the Father's love. Can you say that with me? Father's love. You think of a father that loves his child so much that nothing can separate his love from his child. You think of Holy Spirit's presence, amen? You think of the love of the Father God that the only way he could show his love is through the presence of his Holy Spirit, amen? Now, in, in his presence, in, in Holy Spirit's presence, in the Old Covenant, Old Testament, it was overwhelming and scary, right? Because in the natural, you cannot contain it. Can I get an amen? I mean, even even you got, even beloved Moses had to hide behind, right? And, 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 just, and just see the backside, barely, right? Because the glory of God, amen? So then you think about the love of the Father, the Father's love, the presence of the Spirit, Holy Spirit's presence, amen? All this had to be wrapped up in a package to be delivered to you, amen? You ever order anything on Amazon, right? Does the product from Amazon just show up with no packaging? I hope not, right? It'd be destroyed, <laughs> can you get an amen? Right, it is all packaged together, hallelujah, and it's in that nice box with a smile on its face, right? It just, right? And, and that's who Lord Jesus Christ is. Can you get an amen? That's who Lord Jesus Christ is when he left heaven, praise God. And through the power and anointing Holy Spirit that come upon the Virgin Mary, remember from a, from a virgin, praise God, Lord Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, now God is with us, amen. It gets gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, hallelujah, because God said through Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ said, greater things you will do. Why? Because it's no longer God with us. What did that pastor just say? Can he, can he seriously just say that right now? It's no longer God with us. It's now God in us. Can I get an amen? God in us. Hallelujah. Call out his name. Say, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And I could just hear thousands upon thousands say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. And this is, let us, amen, let us, praise God. The Father's love, Holy Spirit's presence, and the body of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And this is, as you know, the image of God our Father. So let's continue, because it says, once again, Genesis 1, verse 26, praise God. Let us make mankind in our image. So remember, we can't go back any further, praise God, because we're in Genesis, for crying out loud. Can I get an amen? And here is God Almighty saying, let us, <laughs> let us make mankind in our image. Hallelujah. Now remember, what we're doing right now in worship is Holy Spirit is blessing us with life-changing revelation in exposing how the enemy wants to try and distract us. Say with me, no more in Jesus' name, amen? So when you talk about God's image, you think about Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? And for this illustration purpose, we put the silhouette of Lord Jesus Christ, praise God, and you'll see it come on your screen. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And you'll see that here is the three-part being Amen? Of our God Almighty, of agape. Praise God. Now when you say our image, here it continues on saying in our, say this word with me, likeness. Praise God, in our likeness. Hallelujah. So what is the likeness of God? Well, we just overlay as far as what Holy Spirit is teaching us right now, as far as what God's image and his likeness. And this is what you see. And this is what we have been blessed with. In worship for these past few years. Amen. And our Holy Spirit wants to give us. Life changing wisdom. In how we worship and glorify the Father. Through being an obedient temple. Of God Almighty. Amen. And what you see on your screen is. The soul. The spirit. And the body. Amen. And this is how we're going to move forward. Laying this foundation 
coming from Genesis 1.26, and now this is going to lead us into what Holy Spirit has for us on this glorious day. Amen? I love this graphic because of the fact that it just shows the three-part being of every person in this world. Amen? Say it with me. Soul, spirit, and body. Hallelujah. Soul, spirit, body. Amen? Father, spirit, son. Hallelujah. And remember, this is God Almighty. Agape. Amen? Hallelujah. So as we move forward, we talk about these three things that has to do with the soul, the spirit, and the body. What are these three things? Say this with me. The thoughts. The thoughts of the soul. Amen. Say this with me. Hope. Hope. Hope is the spirit. Amen. This is the spiritual warfare. This is the spiritual warfare that Father God talks about. Amen. This is the spiritual warfare that Lord Jesus Christ conquered. Amen. And taught us how to fight this fight. And then last but not least, this is the worship. Say with me, the worship in the body. Hallelujah. Worship in the body. Praise God. So this leads us to John 10.10 and 10, how Holy Spirit will expose this enemy and bless us with the life of abundance. Amen. How many of you want to live an abundant life? Praise God. I do. Oh my goodness, I do in Jesus' name. Praise God. I do. I want to live abundantly. I want to live just being thankful to the Lord Jesus Christ and blessing God Almighty. May I be so crazy to say this to you from the pulpit, that I want to be the one that just blesses God in just being thankful to just, to just bless God's day. Amen? I know it doesn't make sense in the natural and, even, and especially to God Almighty. Amen? Because God is time. He is the Alpha and Omega. Amen? But I choose, praise God, I choose to be a blessing to Heavenly Father regardless what anything looks like. Can I get an amen? Regardless, hallelujah, regardless what people say, how people act, regardless what this world is doing, regardless what's happening over there, happening over there, regardless of people's view and opinion, all I care about, hallelujah, is the presence of Holy Spirit being blessed in my life, knowing that all God wants from me is to be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ, to worship Him, and to allow Holy Spirit to do His good work. In me. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. John 10.10. 10, the thief come in not but for to steal and to kill and destroy. Here's lettuce. Amen. Here's lettuce. Right? So we go back to Genesis 1. Right? We just covered that. And here God is saying let us. Amen. And then what does he do? He blesses us with his image and his likeness in Jesus name. Amen. And the glory of agape is he made us in his image. Now that we are aware of lettuce, amen? <laughs> now that we are aware of our three-part being, hallelujah, now we're going to get into what we just discussed earlier, right? Remember, I am an eternal soul. Say that with me. I am an eternal soul. Praise God, and I thank you at home for, for doing this. It's not for me. It's for Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, right now in you, sees what you are doing. And it's a declaration to God Almighty that I am your property. I am property of Lord Jesus Christ, right? Hallelujah. It's not just a shirt that I wear. Hallelujah. It's in me. Amen. And what does that mean when I say it's in me? Hallelujah. I am a temple of Holy Spirit. Say that with me. I am a temple of Holy Spirit. This is where hope resides. Amen. And of course, say it with me. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is lettuce. <laughs> this is lettuce. Praise God. And so check this out. What the enemy intends to steal is our thoughts. Now how does this happen? How does this work? If the enemy steals your thoughts, there's a domino effect that he's hoping will take place. Yes, the enemy hopes too, but it's not Holy Spirit. It's all deception and pride and lies and garbage. Amen? That's the devil. And he's hoping that you would either look at the situation, the distraction, long enough so that the thoughts manifest and you start to have a conversation 
with the evil one, with the demons. Now, re now, now recall what, what was just said that Holy Spirit wants us to really truly understand. Is that the devil has no power over you. The devil, all he's hoping for is that you would allow him to have a say in your life. Now these thoughts, if you allow the enemy to have this conversation with you, he will plant these thoughts of doubt, of worry, of double-mindedness, and of idleness. Now remember, this thoughts of idleness isn't just a matter of, of just being lazy. This thoughts of idleness rests upon the natural. It rests upon this world, and this world has nothing to offer but death, sin, separation from God. This is what this world rests on. It rests on rebellion. It rests on catering to, to, to lust of the flesh, right? It, that's what the devil's hoping, that these thoughts will start spiraling, going out of control. Haywire. So we're led into this scripture in Jeremiah 29, 11. And I love what the prophet states, and Holy Spirit recorded this through the prophet Jeremiah, hallelujah, in the written word of God in verse 11 of chapter 29 in the book of Jeremiah. Now this was spoken through a prophet, through a man of God, amen. You have Jesus Christ as Lord, hallelujah. Brother, sister, you are a beloved child of God. You are a man, a woman of God, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah, it's all because of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. You have the anointing of Holy Spirit, praise God, the power of God Almighty in you to start speaking life, praise God, speak life, hallelujah, open arms community church, speak life, speak blessing, hallelujah, I rebuke this virus in Jesus name, hallelujah, I plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is applied on my life, on my house in Jesus' name. I am paid for. Hallelujah. Nothing can come against my God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I curse every foul thing in Jesus' name. It can no longer be. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. So when you talk about what the prophet Jeremiah stated, he is prophesying over the nation. Amen. He is prophesying over God's holy people. Praise God. He is prophesying as far as the promised redemption, the restoration. He's prophesying. And this is how he speaks and how Holy Spirit wants to speak right now, this day and age, to echo for all of eternity. This is what God our Father has to say in Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Say it with me, beloved church family, that's me. Hallelujah, that's me. Saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an unexpected end. Hallelujah. And this thoughts of peace and unexpected end is prophesying about the coming of the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What's so unexpected of God is that everything that was discussed in the Old Covenant in the Old Testament, everything that was discussed, everything that took place was to set everything up for the perfection of the coming of the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. And this is the unexpected end because now that here is God Almighty in the flesh and his perfect work is perfect. Is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Amen. It's in this perfection, through that perfect sacrifice of God Almighty, amen, that now, hallelujah, His peace, Holy Spirit, lives in you and in me for all of eternity in Jesus' name. Praise God. This is thoughts, say it with me, of the Father's love. Praise God. Next, the enemy hopes to kill hope. Kill hope. Now remember earlier we did this, I am a temple of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is hope. Amen. Holy Spirit is grace. That's his name. Grace is Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace. Hallelujah. Hope. Right? Galatians 5 is fruits. Amen. Love, joy, peace. Hallelujah. So you got to think about this hope that the enemy tries to kill. 
And how does the enemy try to kill this hope? Well, once again, once again, if he could steal your thoughts in the conversations that you should be having, and I stress should, I don't say this in a legalistic way. I say this in a worship heart. You should be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. You should be thankful that God loves you this much. Amen? This much. And when we apply this should in being thankful, our thoughts immediately go to praise, go to thanksgiving unto Lord Jesus Christ, which allows Holy Spirit, His presence in our life, hope, say that with me, hope, to manifest, amen, and to flow through the temple of God. Hallelujah. Now remember, because we're, we're exposing the enemy. We're exposing the enemy in how he wants to distract us, right? He wants to distract us. So if he's successful in distracting the thoughts of a beloved child of God, and in that momentary season, we're in this, then guess what takes place afterwards? Hope starts to, right? There's a feeling of hopelessness. There's a feeling of where am I, right? There's a feeling of being lost. Praise God, I am recovered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And it's in this moment right here where the enemy, with, where the enemy with that distraction, say that with me, distraction, when the enemy distracts our thoughts for that split second, and if we choose to have a conversation with the devil, then what happens to our hope? No longer will you be hoping, hopeful like this as a beloved child of God where you just want to be thankful and everything. Now what happens in the Holy of Holies is darkness tries to creep in. Now many say, well, Brother Joey, how can darkness overtake the light? The Bible says that's not possible. Amen, you're absolutely correct. Agape, his light that shines, pierces through the darkest of dark. Amen? However, God gives you free will, beloved child of God. And in this free will, you can tell Holy Spirit, I'm going to put you aside, God, and I'm going to allow this fear. I'm going to allow this anxiety. I'm going to allow this restlessness to come in because I feel like I have a right. Now, I know in some cases, praise God, there's many of us that go through different things. Amen. All Holy Spirit right now is exposing is, is that if he can have this conversation with you, this is what he will do in trying to put oppression on your life. And I am so thankful because one of, one of my favorite, of course, all of it's my favorite, but I say this all the time. One of my favorite scriptures that, that, that could go along as far as with John 10.10 10 and what Lord Jesus Christ exposes is what is written here through the Apostle Paul. Holy Spirit wrote this to a church that was wondering as far as why is there all this confusion? Why is there all this chaos? Why is there all this, you know, backbiting, grumbling, and complaining? And this is what the Apostle Paul wrote through his anointing and how Holy Spirit wants to minister to us here right now. This is what it says in Romans 15, verse 13. May the God of hope, hallelujah, say that with me, hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you, say this word with me, trust. Do you trust in Lord Jesus Christ? Do you believe in Lord Jesus Christ? Beloved church family, if you say you do, do not waver. Do not be shaken by what happens in this earth, on this world. It doesn't matter. Because you said, I said, I trust in you, Lord Jesus Christ. That means I don't look at anything else. I trust and believe in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And this is how God follows up that. Because you said, beloved child of God, you said, I trust in Lord Jesus Christ. Here's God's promise through his Holy Spirit. So that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can I get an amen? So say this with me. Hope of Holy Spirit presence. Amen. Hope of Holy Spirit presence. And this is the anointing we have through Lord Jesus Christ. This is the new covenant church paid for by the blood of God Almighty. Through the perfect sacrifice, the Holy One, the perfect one. 
the only one perfect, the only one worthy. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And as you submit and repent, when I say repent, you die. See, we died already. Amen? All this chaos in this world about, oh, this is, this is happening, these people. Listen, we pray for them, amen? We thank God right now that there's a harvest of all these millions of souls coming to say, Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Amen? Help me. I want to tell you right now, that right there in that transaction, healed in Jesus' name. Say it with me, healed in Jesus' name. Well, Brother Joe, you just don't know this person was a Christian and they wound up dying healed in Jesus' name. Well, Brother Joe, you just don't know this person's going through this and he's been de healed in Jesus' name. Well, Brother Joe, you just healed in Jesus' name. Because the bottom line is your breath, your soul is eternal. Hallelujah. You are, say it with me, I am healed in Jesus' name. Praise God. Last but not least, this enemy, remember, lettuce. <laughs> this enemy wants to destroy worship, right? He wants to destroy worship. And when the enemy destroys worship, what he does is he tries to destroy this. Amen. Now, yes, by default, right, many of you know this by default, right, it, it could be all these different things because this is, right, we're here on this earth, amen, and that's why it's so important to be thankful to the Lord Jesus Christ, to be overflowing with thoughts of thanksgiving unto a Father that loves us, God Almighty, hallelujah, to bless His holy presence, hallelujah, can anything garbage be in God's presence? Nope, amen. Nathan, nothing, right? Nothing. No garbage can be in God's presence. No sin, right? So why wouldn't I choose to bless God and to, and to strive to have His presence, right, flowing through my life? Amen? Flowing through my marriage, my wife, hallelujah, my house, amen, my pets, praise God, my church, right, my, my, my family, my, my community, my, my house, my core. Why wouldn't I want Father God's presence, agape, hallelujah, to flow? Hallelujah. And this is what we want. We want to flow. And it's in this presence of God that hope, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, encourages us. Yeah, come on. Praise God. You can do it. Hallelujah. Right? Get back up. Praise God. Elder Charlie, right? Praise God. He preached that beloved sermon. Holy Spirit said, the, the trumpet didn't sound yet. Amen. Get up. Right? Get up. Hallelujah. And right there, you hear Holy Spirit, you're like, ah. Right? That's in the past. No, no more of this, right? No more of that. Just, that's in the past. Amen. Look forward. Hallelujah. And it's in this hope that glory to God as worshipers of Lord Jesus Christ, we know to bless God, to encourage one another. Amen. To keep going forward. Praise God. To lift each other up. Amen. No grumbling, no complaining. Remember what Pastor John spoke. Holy Spirit taught us, right? Hey, you go. Right? You got to take control of that thing. Amen. How do you take control? I am thankful, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, this person hurt me, Lord. But Lord Jesus Christ, I hurt you. I beat you on that cross. I spit in your face. I did those things to you, and I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm not even worthy, but you are, Lord, and you saved me. You saved me where I was, you died for me. <laughs> and glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, you made a way that I died. I died already. Beloved church family, I look at you, I died already. I died already. There's, there's nothing else that can be done, I died already. And praise God because of the perfection of His perfect sacrifice. Holy Lord Jesus Christ. Holy, holy, holy. It's the Lord God Almighty. Resurrection power lives in you and me if you have Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. And the way the enemy wants to destroy this worship, this worship, the way the enemy wants to destroy it is he tries to put lust through spiritual Oppression, lust, 
perversion, addiction, haughtiness, vanity, right? Vanity. It's all about me, 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 pride, right? Just emotions. Say it with me, I rebuke that in Jesus' name, amen? In John 4, verse 24, it says this, God is a spirit, and they, say it with me, that's me, hallelujah, that's me. And they that worship him must, come on now, praise God, must. Now let me ask you something, beloved church family, not being sarcastic, I'm not. I'm just emphasizing and being obedient to what Holy Spirit wants us to know. When God says must, is there any negotiation in that? Amen. And this is what God said is a must. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Say this with me. Worship the body of Christ. Amen. Say it with me. I am a member of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. So glory to God. So we know all this. That the thief cometh not but for to steal. And what does he try to steal? He tries to steal these thoughts. And what is the thoughts of the father's love? See the enemy wants to steal this life-changing revelation that we have already received because we received his love. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. But that's what the enemy wants to steal is those godly thoughts and he wants to replace it with his voice, his word, his doubts, and his worry to manifest fear of this world. Say it with me, no more in Jesus' name. The enemy wants to kill. What does he want to kill? He wants to kill this hope. The hope is Holy Spirit's presence on the inside, that God actually lives in you, in me. He wants to kill that. Why does the devil want to kill that? He knows that if he can get in the way of Holy Spirit and quench Holy Spirit, now the enemy knows that he can destroy your life. He can destroy your worship so that rather than worshiping God Almighty, hallelujah, 24-7, because that's all I know for now, 24-7, he wants you to worship yourself, which leads to destruction, which leads to a mighty fall. Say it with me, no more in Jesus' name. And this is how this manifests when the enemy kills this hope. You can see in this illustration that's on your screen that when he steals your thoughts, right, immediately he tries to manifest that, that worry, remember, that doubt, he tries to manifest it, and he's hoping that you allow, that you allow darkness to come into the Holy of Holies. And that darkness, remember, that darkness is all that spiritual oppression, right? And he's hoping that that lust starts to manifest. And then the fruits of that, the fruits of that bad tree is that it starts to manifest the wrong kind of worship. Now the manifestation of that demonic spiritual bondage that oppression, that garbage, is addiction, right? Emotional, just, just chaos, right? Rebellion, right? Just, just, just being nasty, being, you know, just being angry all the time. Crunchy, right? Say it with me, no more in Jesus' name, amen? Glory to God, lettuce. Say it with me, lettuce. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's good to laugh. Hallelujah. Let us. And this is why I love how Lord Jesus Christ sums up John 10.10. 10. Amen. And blesses us with life-changing revelation. And praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I am come. Now remember who is I am, the great I am. Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Remember, let us. Amen. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen? And glory to God, this more abundantly life is simply this, that you receive the love of the Father through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And you choose. Say with me, I choose. Hallelujah. This day. Amen? This day, I choose to be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Beloved church family, that is the key right now, right now. Amen? to watching the presence of God Almighty, Holy Spirit in you, amen, and in your beloved family, in your house, because we are all one, amen. This is the key to seeing God's anointing, His presence to flow miraculously through you, through your house, amen, 
through your marriage, your children, praise God, onto this community and watch breakthrough take place in Jesus' name. Amen. And the beauty is, is that when we bless Holy Spirit with these thoughts of the Father, Holy Spirit, amen, is God of this temple. Holy Spirit now is the one, hallelujah, the way it's always supposed to be from the beginning of time, amen, from the beginning of lettuce, <laughs> praise God, from the beginning of time, this is how it's always supposed to be. That all we want is the fellowship with the Father, amen, to walk with Him, praise God, amen, hold His hand, never let go, praise God, never let go, you just hold His hand, amen, wherever He takes you, we just go, praise God, hallelujah. And this is what blesses a beloved child of God in worship. Amen. Because remember, when your thoughts are filled of being thankful, Holy Spirit knows that you're lifting up the name above every name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And as you lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, his light shines through every cell in your body. I speak this over you in Jesus' name. His presence shines. Through every cell in your body, every hair is blessed in Jesus' name. Why? Is it because of you? No. Rebuke that. It's all because of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say with me, I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in John 14, 6 says this, Lord Jesus Christ answered. And don't you love it? John 10, 10. We just went through that in detail in what Holy Spirit wanted to teach us on this glorious day and moving forward for God to give us life-changing revelation in how to live an abundant life being victorious in Jesus' name. Amen? And then don't you love it that a few chapters later, and read all of John 14, glory to God, but this is what Holy Spirit wanted for this morning. John 14, verse 6, Lord Jesus Christ answered, I am. Say that with me. I am. Who is I am? Letters. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. A God name. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Who is I am? He is the way. He is the way to the Father's love. Hallelujah. He is the truth. Lord Jesus Christ is the truth to Holy Spirit presence. Is that not what Lord Jesus Christ taught? Ever since that glorious day when he was baptized, as, as you can see in that beloved picture above our baptistry, amen? He is the truth of Holy Spirit's presence. He is no longer distant. I am in him. He is in me. And that's what Lord Jesus Christ taught his disciples, praise God. And he is the life. The life is the body of Lord Jesus Christ. He sums it up and says, no one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Beloved church family, can you say that with me? Through me. Amen. We're going to close in this. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that, that his anointing, his light is shining through you. His anointing is just overflowing. Praise God. And once again, we're going to keep on visiting this as the glorious day approaches of that trumpet sound. Amen. And this is what 1 Thessalonians 5 has to say. Praise God. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your entire spirit, soul, and body, say it with me, let us, <laughs> be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. Beloved church family, that right there, Lord Jesus Christ is our shield. He is our faith. Amen. I hear time and time and time again, Pastor, I just don't, Pastor, I, Pastor, this doesn't, Pastor. And I'll tell you right now, 100% of the time I say, He is faithful. Lord Jesus Christ will do it. All Father God is asking of you right now, beloved family, is will you let that go? Will you let go of that negative report from the doctor? Right? Listen, God bless the medical field. God bless all these doctors and nurses. Every, every, every soul right now, God bless them. Amen? He has already. Jesus Christ already came and died for everybody. Amen? But we say this as beloved children of God, as children of light, as his light shines through us, that we pray for everybody. Amen? 
But beloved, do not take somebody's view and opinion, regardless of what they have to show you, do not take that as gospel. There's only one gospel, and his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. So rejoice, rejoice, because regardless what the situation may say, regardless what the trial may say, regardless of what you've done, did in the past, Lord Jesus Christ has the final say. And by the grace and mercy of God our Father, he is faithful. All he's asking of you is will you move out of the way? And you know what? The only way, the only way I can move out of the way of God is to do this. Amen? Is to just get on my knees. Right? To, get, to just get out of the way, just get on your knees. Amen? And allow his presence to take care of you. Amen? He is faithful. Brothers, pray for us as well. Greet all the brothers with a holy kiss. Praise God. And praise God, I love it because I still kiss my brothers and sisters on the cheek with the mask on. Amen. And I and hey, listen, God knows my heart. Amen. And I love this. I charge you before the Lord Jesus Christ to have this letter read to all the brothers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. I pray in the name above every name, the only name, the only name, Lord Jesus Christ, that his, his anointing, his presence is just blessing you beyond comprehension. I thank you so much. I thank you so much for blessing God. Listen, the time is coming, beloved church family. And God says our soul, spirit, body has to be blameless. That means when this trumpet sounds in this next half an hour, are you blameless? See, there's some of you right now that say, no, I'm not. Or, I got this going on. Listen, let's not get religious with God because Lord Jesus Christ is the only perfect one. Amen? However, there is accountability in your relationship with God where God is saying, have you allowed me to just consume your soul, your thoughts? Are there any thoughts right now that is, that is going on in the temple that's not of Lord Jesus Christ? Right now, Father God is saying, lay that down. Amen? Is there anything that, that's creating hopelessness in your life? Is there anything that's trying to play a tug of war with you right now? Right now, Father God is saying, by the power of Holy Spirit, lay that down. Crucify it. It's dead. Now remember, when you lay this down, don't pick it back up. When you lay it down, it's crucified. Say it with me, I am crucified with Christ. Hallelujah. And glory to God. Watch the manifestation of God Almighty in your life and in your entire beloved family as His presence manifests through His body. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. For those of you, praise God, who want to bless God with your financial seed of offering. Amen. I know that for right now we're not physically coming together. Praise God for the wisdom of Holy Spirit. Praise God for the blessings of our elders, our overseers of God's holy church. Amen. Listen, family, I don't say this religiously. I just say this from the pulpit, from heaven almighty. I'm going to tell you right now what God says, that they listen to what Holy Spirit says, and they're sensitive in the spirit to praise God, to bless Lord Jesus Christ above all, and to watch over his holy church. Amen. Pray for our leadership. Amen. Bless them. Praise God. And I just want to say thank you so much for your heart of worship through your giving. Amen. You could give at oacchurch.com. Once again, that's oacchurch.com. Please, beloved church family. And I'm speaking to all of Facebook, all of YouTube. Hallelujah. You may be, praise God, you may be in a different state. Right? You may be in another country. It, don't, it doesn't matter. Holy Spirit moves on your heart to be a blessing. We thank you for your obedience. Amen. We thank you. And, and please, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, get planted. Get planted. Get rooted in a Holy Spirit-filled church, in a agape church. Amen. In a church that believes the Holy Bible from front to back. Alpha and Omega. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Get planted. Because remember, when that trumpet sounds, for one... Are you going to be raptured out of here? Because Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for his body. 
Amen? And this is the body of believers. This is the body of the church. And right now, the Holy Spirit is, is convicting you, saying, you need to get in. Be obedient. Amen? Be obedient. If you're here in Lebanon, Kentucky, or surrounding counties, hallelujah, come. Please come. We love to have you. Amen? We've been waiting for you, praying for you. Praise God. We need you. Amen? God needs you. And if you're far away, praise God, Holy Spirit will tell you where to go. Amen? And I'm just so excited to meet you in the next half an hour for those of you that haven't met. Once again, thank you so much for your seeds of offering. You cannot outgive our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. He will bless you a hundredfold in Jesus' name. And I know that's not why we give. Amen? We give because He gave. Amen? Look at His offering. Right? Look at God's offering to us, Lord Jesus Christ. Look what we did to that offering, right? But glory to God, that offering, that seed that was sown from God Almighty, that was put into hell three days later. Praise God. Here we are in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us worship. <laughs> oh, I love you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. I am just so excited what Holy Spirit is doing through you. I just want to say thank you so much for being a blessing. Amen. I thank God for y'all every day. Trish and I, we pray for y'all every day. And once again, once again, let's just give God praise. Let's just thank him. It all starts, if you would say it with me, and we're going to have just a short prayer because this is what all the Holy Spirit wants. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, all we want to do is just say thank you for Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we just want to say thank you for saving us for all of eternity. Holy Spirit, I just want to say thank you for saving me, for sealing me, and for living through me for all of eternity. And Father God, thank you for your beloved church, my brothers and sisters, and you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor John, Mary, Elder Lance, Sister Faith, Elder Charlie and Melissa, Elder Howard and Sister Charlotte, Elder Brad and Sister Jen. Father God, all of our deacons, our leadership, our tech team, Father, as, as I just say thank you, Father God, you know, you know who they are, Father. You know who's planted, who's rooted in all your churches, Father God. We just want to say thank you for your light that shines through them. And thank you, Father God, that as your children, because of you, Lord Jesus Christ, we carry the blessing. We carry the healing, the miracles. We carry the new covenant. And it's in Jesus Christ's name and all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Love you so, so much.